everyone and welcome to We Cook Healthy at Salad Master. My name is Melina and I am going to show you how to use our Crown Jewel, the 12 inch electric skillet. Okay? And uh, basically if you received this electric skillet, um, it's, it's great to use in many different ways. But the basics are you have this electric probe that you need to plug in. Now this, you cannot put in the water, obviously, but this, the electric skillet itself, even though it's electric, you can fully immerse it into the water, okay? So you can put it in a dishwasher as well. It's very safe, nothing is going to happen to it. Just not this, okay? Now, once you plug in, you see this little red dot, okay? That means it's powered. And you have a temperature button and the timer button with the arrows up and down with an on and off power button, okay? So when you're ready to use it, you can plug it in, okay? Or I can shake it out and show you as well and then plug it in. You press the temperature button. It starts with 150 and it can go up all the way to 450. So as long as it blinks, you can change up your temperature or change it down with the arrows. Pretty simple, okay? Now, on, uh, on this electric skillet, 150 is the lowest heat and 450 is the highest. So if you need to use it with a medium heat, with a medium click low, a medium on this is about 320, okay? If you are trying to make soups or stews or rice or um, uh, lasagna, then you use medium click low, okay? So medium is 320 and low is about 200. Now, remember that there is an uh, oil inside the skillet, okay? To heat it up evenly and to preserve the heat longer. And when you regular, normally when you lower the heat on the regular pot, which is right here, you go from medium heat and it clicks, you make it low, the clicking stops right away. With the electric skillet, because the oil inside stays hot for a little bit, the clicking will not stop immediately. You have to give a chance the oil to cool off a little bit and then it will stop clicking, okay? So, um, like I said, low is about 200. If you are uh, trying to fry something, like the way we did at the show, chicken, or you wanna make steak, then you have to put the temperature on and go all the way up to 450 to preheat the skillet. And once it's hot enough, then you can uh, put in your chicken or meat or whatever it is you're making in there. All right, this is to fry your meats. Normally we advise you to use medium to low heat. Now you also have a timer here. You press the time button and you set it to, say you need it to be one hour. You press one hour, okay, and that's it, it sets. So you can plug it in, just like that, make sure it's all the way in, and walk away because when, it's, uh, when one hour is over, it will just shut off and uh, you won't have to worry about it, okay? So this can work as a slow cooker, as a rice cooker as well, because you have rice cooking settings on it as well. So I'll show you how to use that. Say you put in your rice in there and the water, you don't need to preheat anything, just put in your rice and water, and it's usually, depending on what kind of rice, but it's one to one cup ratio and you're going to put temperature, but this time you're gonna press arrow down and it says rice one, okay? Say you're making brown rice, then you do temperature and you press the arrow down twice and it's going to give you rice two settings, which allows uh, your rice to cook a little bit longer, okay? At that point, you plug it in okay and don't touch the skillet anymore you don't have to open it you don't have to mix anything it will start clicking on its own and it will stop clicking on its own as well once uh, it needs to reach the right temperature so you don't need to make medium click low or high or anything like that just let the skillet do its job 
and uh, once it's done for example it's going to go to 150 degrees it's not going to shut off it's just going to switch to 150 at that point you know that it's done sometimes if you open it up and you have um, the, the rice uh, cooked there and you taste it it feels like it needs a few more minutes then don't add anything don't turn anything on just cover it up leave it at 150 for about five ten minutes longer and it's just going to finish cooking it on its own okay and uh, you will love it when you use it the right way thank you